and got in the car. It was kind of interesting because it had a Sony TV, right? And it had a cell phone. And I didn't think the cell phones were something that was available until what, the mid 80s, right? I think 84, 85. And this thing had a cell phone in it. It was super oxidized. I told the guy that bought it, uh, who he'd started the Elvis Museum. I'm like, look, man, I don't even know if this car will look any much different, just clean. And we spent probably a week on and off working with paint. Now, you remember, Glossa didn't exist at that time. So back then, we're using 3M and McGuire's and whatever we could find or pro products to cut and polish this car. But I think that when I was done, I remember the car looking super sharp and super clean. 